Hello, in your opinion, is there still a risk of the project underfunding? And given the fact that the contract with Block was terminated, do we have any additional funding guarantees now? There is always a risk of underfunding, because life can be unpredictable. No one expected the pandemic, and it hit us all of a sudden. And so on, but... It mostly refers to underfunding on the part of the investors. There can be a situation when, due to some circumstances, something extraordinary happens, such as a force majeure event. This case was previously covered by the additional funding guarantee. Now, in the course of the whole project development time, we have accumulated quite a large asset, and we already have tangible and intangible assets in the project, including, among other things, the results of our intellectual activity. And all of this can now be a collateral for getting loans and so on. But it should be understood that there are two options. These investments can be provided by large companies, but thus it will result in reducing the share of Solar Group in proportion to the invested amounts. Or there can be a loan. The loan is also insured in order not to lose the entire business in case something goes wrong. The way Sberbank traded an interest call, Gandis, and so on, to prevent this from happening. The only thing is that this means transferring a share in the authorized capital. Since the funding obligations are held by Solar Group, whose interests will be infringed consequently? They should be taken into account. Therefore, this scenario is not in the investor's interest. But the project will be implemented under any circumstances, conditions, in any situation. Don't have even a shadow of doubt concerning this because otherwise it makes no sense to take up and start a project.